حياتنا وشفيعنا ومولانا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وبارك وسلم والحمد لله رب العالمين شكرا people we are now ready uh, to start with the uh, procession and as soon as we have the people at the back giving us an indication that we are ready at the back then we can uh, inform the driver of the truck to start up and leave at half start as we promised the uh, department that we will do that
Trump, don't you know what the business of the country?
That is an X ray I want that one. That is better than any of X ray.
committee, the working committee, the Qibla movement, all the activists on various uh, platforms, a very hearty welcome to you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I'm going to hand over without any further ado to Dr. Anwar Nagia. He's uh, online with an international connection. Dr. Anwar will fill us in with all the details. Shukran for coming out. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We have a direct link at the moment, very difficult with our members uh, in Gaza, uh, members of the resistance movement. We'll say a few words before I say something. My brother, you are live now, you can start your, your discussion. Thank you all for gathering today. In Al Quds Day, known as International Al Quds Day, particularly South Africa, voicing again your adamant will to bring a change to the dynamics in the Holy Land. In every single person of you, I don't see your faces, but I see your actions, and I appreciate your will, and I know that you are the ambassadors of Jerusalem Al Quds in your community, with your families with the people you love and know and that you have been fighting for that cause and may Allah so then reward you a for the of that cause. Amen. I know, I know you are Muslims and non-Muslims all together marching for that cause and I pray that God protects you, Allah protects you all and I tell you that the time is drawing closer now when we all fight 
for the sake of liberating al -Qurs. The time, those world slaughter, when we all march for the sake of making the point and making it to the Holy Land and fighting for the sake of liberating Jerusalem. In the meantime, keep the world alive, keep the world at the action, keep the hope alive, and one day we will meet, inshallah, in the, at the door of Al Masjid al Aqsa, and we pray together the prayer of liberation, the prayer of victory, inshallah. Amen. that 22 million people in a land which was there are almost in exile. For the first time in history, every family of the Palestinians, every single family, either have a person in exile, a person in a hospital, a person amputated, or a person in prison that was serving 35 years, and of course, their issues around the movement. From less than one kilometer, they have to get a permit to see their brothers or sisters because of the apartheid wall that divides families and communities. They have no water in the most of Gaza. They have no electricity. They have no even a panado or a tablet in some of the situations that we've experienced under these fascist and these brutal, brutal occupation. Now this occupation is not an occupation by the will of the people. It is not a resistance by the will of the people. It is a fight to the end. It's a fight to attrition. We will never give up and we will never surrender. Not in South Africa and in any part of the world. It's part of the universal declaration that the oppressed and exploited will be remembered and enjoyed with us today. We can't cowardly sit in our homes, in our ivory towers, and ignore this carnage that are taking place. There is no war in Palestine. It's a genocide. A war would mean that two equal parties are armed. The one might have less arms than the other. But we have pellet guns. We have caterpillars and stones. And they have B-131 bombers. They have drones. They have massive machinery. But they aided and abetted by the United Nations were part of the United Nations, most of the countries. Germany took a decision last week to ban and to make it illegal for the BDS movement to exist. So any form of criticism, even today, of the state, illegitimate state of Israel is regarded as anti-Semitic. The struggle in Palestine has nothing to do between Muslims and Jews. It's about illegal and violent occupation. It has nothing to do with the Muslims not liking the Jews. In fact, the Jewish rabbi movement in Palestine accepts the fact that there is no Jewish state ever. They say it, not we. The Torah says it. And yet, they perceive and articulate the Zionist fascist movement, which we are learned to be confronted with today. It is now time for us to engage our friends and families who are passive on this issue. We are now, it's now the time for us to engage organizations that are passive on the issue. And we can't make an apology for these things. Ulema. It's not a question of your right. You don't have a right, A, to be wrong. It's not your democratic right or freedom of expression to be wrong. It's not your right to be a racist. It's not your right to be a fascist. There's no existence in humankind that allows this. But alhamdulillah, today, the truth remains the majority of one. We stand in defiance, not only of this parliament behind us, but of future parliaments. And we stand and we will mobilize until every breath in our body is taken. Amen. Palestinians today salute our struggle. They are in absolute disbelief that the world is ambivalent on the issue. But many of them know that this struggle will not stop. Mothers, daughters and sons, and mothers have sacrificed their sons. Mothers who have just seen their sons martyr, big to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.